Hey everybody, we're in the shop working on the, uh, this is going to be a Prairie Gold CJ5 body here. And I have uh, fabricated a quick rotisserie for it. I shortened one. And I've got it uh, where I can work on it. The rear floor in this and the wheelhouses, uh, these are severely bowed. And I need access to both sides. That's why I hung it on the uh, on the rotisserie. You can see how that's a whole finger space uh, bowed down there. I think you can see how bad that's bowed down. So um, I'm going to be flipping it back and forth, uh, working on it, getting the uh, Getting the bows out of it. This the rear floor is a you know it's a mess. I mean, if you put paint on that, it'd be a disaster. But um, I've got a lot of metal work to do. And uh, we'll get the rear floor in shape. And both corners have been um, messed up pretty bad, but uh, we'll get those pulled out. And we got some, um, uh, like I say, this was dip, but we've still got a little, couple little rusty areas. And uh, I'm going to cut out the bad areas. And then, like I say, before I paint this, uh, it's going to be sandblasted. So that'll take care of any other little areas that are messed up. So, not too bad. Uh, we're moving on it. I am working on that rear floor, trying to get uh, the bulk of the bow out of it. Uh, it's going to need some shrinking. I'll take the shrinking disc to it. Uh, same thing on that wheelhouse. And uh, we'll just keep plugging away on it. So, it's getting to be the end of the year. And, um, as usual, I've got a lot of people always hassling me. People don't like the way I do things, this and that, and the other thing. Um, it's getting to be more and more, and I may start keeping the videos private or move over to um, that uh, Patreon or Patreon, whatever that's called. Uh, I'm working on figuring that out. And I may just send the videos to uh, the specific bunch of people that do enjoy them. And um, I have one real snowflake idiot that's been hassling me. And I'm going to talk a little bit about him. And he's been shooting his mouth off, so might as well shoot right back. I'm going to show you some of his comments, some of my comments, and we're going to try and figure out why he thinks his work is much better than mine. I don't, I don't understand it. He's a typical... Uh, body guy that uh, works in an auto body shop I guess or has his own auto body shop but thinks he's a restoration shop and there is a huge difference between the two some guys just paint things and then there are guys like me that do every aspect of the restoration and um, I'm gonna uh, for this video just try and get a bunch of pictures out there Something you could just sit back, relax, enjoy some photos, and um, let the new year just flow right in. So uh, let's go and see what kind of idiot this guy's been. And uh, I'll take you over to the computer and hopefully you can get you some footage of some of his stupid comments. Okay. Okay, some of you guys remember that um, Sierra Blue CJ5 I did. And this particular guy jumped up, and he's telling me it should be painted on a rotisserie. And he says to build one out of three engine stands uh, from Harbor Freight. So, 
I, I don't ever like to paint on a rotisserie because the rotisserie is always in the way and I think it's just a bad way to go and uh, that's not how I came about learning how to paint. So, I'm going to try and get you in there. And um, I'm telling them how, you know, people like him suck. And uh, I hope you guys can read this. I'm, I'm trying to go a little bit out of time. So, I asked him, um, I, I've got a Jeep ready to paint. I was going to pick him up, fly him in, whatever. I would pay him for the paint job. Pay him from, pay him from time away from his regular job. I didn't realize he was a painter. Um, told him there was a rotisserie here that he could use. If it came out good, I'd give him a boatload of money. If not, he'd have to pay me to strip it down again. So, I offered to make a video of him painting it. And as usual, um, this Matt Skanks here, he doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything. So, um, couldn't see any of his work. But he does pop up. Let me try and get you in here. He does pop up and tells me to see this particular Edmund Angeles Automotive. Um, Try and focus in there. And he's trying to tell me about how prep makes a good paint job, and and then he says he doesn't believe he can af that I can afford him. Let's see how I don't believe you can afford me, fella. Well, Mr. Snowflake, uh, let's go over to Edmunds Angeles Automotive and see what you're up to. Hang in there, folks. I'll be right back with you. Okay, here we are on E. Willie's, and uh, there is the name of this particular uh, guy giving me a hard time. And I encourage you to go check it out. And this is from 2009. So, I don't know how busy this guy is, but anyway. So, here goes a project. Reproduction body because uh, I'm sure he couldn't build anything if he tried to. But there's a reproduction body that he's painting on a rotisserie. So we get one shot of a reproduction body. Hmm, not much. Let's see if we can find some more stuff. Okay, here goes another reproduction that he's done CJ2A with grab handles on it and whatnot looking kinda silly but he feels okay about it I guess uh, again uh, no pictures of the before because it's a reproduction so nothing too impressive there let's keep moving on see if uh, he can make some sense of why he's got such a big mouth alright here we are and there's this Harbor Freight rotisserie. And there's a couple pictures of some things he's doing. I don't know what that material is or what kind of product he's putting on there. That purple looking stuff. Okay, let's get to the shop. We got a cabinet. We got a chassis in there. Oh, looks like we got a nice table. Looks like he's making a pull on a frame there. I don't know what's going on there. So, looks like he's got a garage. Does some paint work. And he's got a MIG welder. So, he likes to call himself a fabricator or a restoration shop. I have no idea why he's doing this, but he's down in Virginia. 
and okay there's the shop I imagine he's got to come in through the overhead door every day to get his ego and his big head through there I don't think he could come through the main door but he probably comes through that big overhead door um, just to get his big ego head through there and then I don't know he has room for any projects because his his head and his mouth must be in the way but anyway uh, this stuff is all from 2009 so um, and he's still lurking out there looking for videos like mine to pick on so like I say um, I'm gonna change things up in 2020 uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna put out there uh, for the public anymore uh, you know I just got too much stuff going on and it's just uh, you know I'm just too tired of um, uh, the YouTube trolls and this and that and um, I get a ton of emails every day from people that um, some people they just want to fight me I don't know they're like oh, I'll come over and, and beat you up you know I don't get that I mean is the it, it, it you know, are you that jealous or are you that, you know, stupid? I, I don't know. But um, I do get a lot of good comments. I mean, here's some comments we're just going through. A lot of guys do enjoy this stuff. But um, right now I guess we're about 50-50. Um, I've got a lot of subscribers, but not a lot of people watch my videos. Um, so... Um, as you're watching this video, if you are a dedicated subscriber, let me know. Uh, I am making a list of the, the dedicated subscribers I have, and I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to try and get videos right to your email inbox. Um, but anyway, we're changing things up and, uh, and doing some different stuff for 2020. So, if you are one of my regular subscribers, contact me. Let me know so that I don't um, not get you the videos that are coming out. So just uh, just leave me a comment below. Okay, let's go uh, take a walk around and look at a few other things. Okay, we're continuing to make progress on this L-head rebuild. Uh, parts are coming in and uh, just about ready to start boring. So this is coming along. And uh, we're going to do some rear main seal talk when I go to put the crank in this one. And um, I got to get the valve guides in, and we will be boring this um, later this week. Okay, here's another crankshaft for another L head rebuild. And it's been a long time, but uh, this one came back. 10 on the mains, 10 on the rods. Never been tampered with. Cleaned up perfect at 10 10. So. I like to get them like that and we are over here and I have a column shift T90C that I built for a friend of mine and we have a big hole case here uh, with Terra low gears in it and um, this will be going together soon I've got to put some um, emergency brake stuff on it and some shift levers and uh, and then get it uh, attached to the T90C column shift so things are happening uh, it's busy around the shop I'm gonna leave you guys with uh, a bunch of photos uh, like I say just uh, enjoy them it's some various projects I've done through the years uh, maybe you'd enjoy seeing them if not just zip to the end but a um, whole bunch of pictures in this video. Uh, it's going to go kind of slow, so just kick back. Take a look at some projects I've done. And uh, I will catch you in the new year. Thanks for watching. And uh, everybody have a good new year. And be safe out there.